Trico, 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 Me estaba poniendo los cascos y todo eso ahí mientras, porque me acabo de estar y digo, ¡Guau! Dale ya el play. Ah, qué grave. Pues nada, lo de. Lo continúo justo, justo, justigo, 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 donde lo habíamos dejado en el vídeo anterior. Y vamos a. A. Pues leer la intro esta. De no, Morse, de nuestros días. Ahora la protección de Jane, la misteriosa joven que tu viejo amigo Arryn quería mantener a salvo, está en tus manos. Con él muerto, esta eh, misión es todo lo que te queda de él. Pero la situación se está complicando sobremanera. Su mano derecha, Godric Donnery, ha resultado ser un impostor y ha huido tras enviar a, tu, eh, a sus hombres a por ti. Ahora se oculta en las sombras, esperando el momento adecuado para atacar mientras sus hombres te pisan los talones. Y lo que es peor, Donnerly ha empezado a corromper a la Guardia de la Noche. Cualquiera de tus hermanos podría ser un traidor dispuesto a cortarte el cuello a la muchacha a tu cargo. La situación es grave. Es hora de contraatacar. Y voy a estornudar. Ya podemos continuar. Dice, ¿por qué no corta a José? Y, y empiezas otra vez. Coño, pero pues si es que ya me conocéis, que yo soy así. ¿Esa es Clau? Garra. At the least, Castle Black is safe again after we took care of Godric's hirelings. But he could have turned some of our brothers, Jor. And we still don't know which ones. Adam Flowers is responsible for leading the investigation and flushing out any traitors amongst them. A witch hunt. No good will come of that. I dislike this situation as much as you do, Moors. But we have no choice. I trust Adam. He will use discretion and wisdom. Just ask him if you need to know what the status is. Vale. Very well. And what of the imposter? John Aaron's death, the arrival of this girl, and the men from the south. These can't be coincidences. In my opinion, the imposter is nothing but a pawn. Everything leads me to believe that he works for someone more. No sabes hasta qué punto, eh. But we won't let them get away with it. The Night's Watch will hunt him down and make him pay. They came to the gift, fooled us, and corrupted our sworn brothers. We are involved, whether we like it or not. You're right. We cannot accept this. We must be cautious. One misstep. And Castle Black could pay dearly, but the message must be clear. No one attacks us without paying the price. Moors, I need you to follow their trail. Thus, I am naming you as a recruiter of the Night's Watch. In this capacity, you will be able to leave the gift and act freely. This letter, bearing my seal, will prove your good faith to those who might doubt Your word. Your mission will be to find the guilty party and punish them in our name. Hunt down and eliminate. Understood. What do you plan to do with the girl? Perhaps I can go with Sir Moore's on his journey. Demasiado peligroso. It doesn't seem as safe to me as it once was. I agree. Besides, since you're the one the imposter is after and he knows where to find you, you are no longer safe here. The Lord Commander is right. John Arryn entrusted this mission to me. I will not fail his memory. Patrick will accompany you to the border of the Gift. He has already proven his loyalty. As for me, I will put together an escort of our most trustworthy men. They will meet you near Mole's Town. Otherwise, you might cross paths with Sir Godric's imposter and his men. Be alert. I have every intention of crossing paths with him. The two of us have a matter to settle. May the old gods speed you. The perils of the Seven Kingdoms are as dangerous to a sworn brother's body as they are to his soul. But I have faith in you. You will succeed. Vale. Well then, let us get Patrick. He must be downstairs. I'm with you. Patrick, we're leaving for Molestown. And I need someone I can trust. You're coming with me. You want to go back? There will still be enemies there. Exactly. I need to know who sent them. At the moment, my only lead to find that out is the imposter. 
I'll find the rat and get him to talk. And I'll be sure to rid the gift of that traitor and all his henchmen. Very well. Give me time to get my things and I'll come with you. Sir Westford? Isn't it risky for me to go back there with you? After all, it's me that the men are after. As long as you're with me, you'll be fine. Trust me, lass. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. Very well. I left my belongings with Sybil when we left Mold Town. If I can, I should like to get them before we leave the North. We'll be passing there anyway. As soon as we get the chance, we can go to your room. Thank you. All is well. I'm ready. Hostia, qué rápido ha sido este hombre también. Vale, eh, misiones secundarias. Las misiones secundarias tienen un límite de tiempo. Recuerda atenderlas pronto porque pasados varios capítulos ya no podrás completarlas y se marcarán automáticamente como fracasos. Vale. Es decir, que lo que nos dice es que vayamos para arriba. ¿Veis? Tenemos ahí marcada Una secundaria Está arriba Adam, the Lord Commander told me that you could need help with your inquiry That's right, another bloody chore for me That'll teach me to be the smart one amongst our brothers This is serious, Flowers. Some of our brothers betrayed their oath and tried to kill. I know full well how serious this is, but I've never had to sort out a problem like this. What do you have to... I've examined your three victims. Theomar, Dick, and Veon. Those three were messed up all right, but each of them had received 20 silver stags for their betrayal. There's little doubt that such a sum came from Donnelly. That's highly likely. Any clues as to who else might have accepted the offer? The only way of knowing would be to question every brother who might have met our visitors while they were staying at Castle Black. I shall have to talk to them all then. And I believe I've identified all the suspects. We've gathered them all here and blocked off all means of access. I thought we could leave them all to stew a bit, just to see what happens. Adam, what can you tell me about our crippled crows? The traitors we're looking for at Castle Black are brothers who will have had direct dealings with Donnelly and were prepared to betray their oath for gold. First of all, there's Jonas. He's always had a flair for shady dealings. He's drawn to strangers and their gold. I'm sure he's made a deal or two with our visitors one way or another. He's the one who worries me the most. More surprisingly, there's Grants. The old man spent quite a lot. I've learned that one of your rangers, Bartram, had been up to no good with these strangers. I've Lastly, we have the inseparable Arthur and Trebor. Arthur is the smarter of the two, and has all... Anyone? We're missing one final suspect. Domeric disappeared from Castle Black. We he probably found out everything that was going on before you wrote your report. What's strange to me is that there are no horses missing from the stables. He'll be caught with ease by our rangers, or by House Stark if need be. I will try to separate the wheat from the chaff amongst those we have already. I'm glad I can count on you, Moors. I've never had to handle such a delicate business. I hear many rumors of your ability to see and hear things without being caught. If you can use this gift to help me, I'd be much indebted to you. Vale, o sea que te vamos a tener que usar al perrete. Tenemos algo para Walder. Good day to you, Moors. You wouldn't by any chance have some work for me there in your pa- I haven't forgotten you. Show me. It would seem this is the mother. Blessed may she be. I will restore all her soft beauty, believe- In memory of your- In memory of all women. Bartram. 
A ver qué nos dice Barson. We need to talk. Moors, that black-hearted Flowers is accusing me of treason again. Several brothers spent time with Donnelly and his men when they were here. Aye. I heard about Theomar and his two friends, those half-witted brothers. What idiots. I wonder where they were hoping to flee. Because Godric didn't offer you anything? He didn't. I didn't even speak to that knight. I can't abide arrogant men like that. If I wanted to dishonor myself, I wouldn't be so stupid as to do it so close to Castle Black. And where would I go? South? You're a good ranger. Always vigilant. Thank you for the compliment. But I owe everything to you. Can you tell me anything about the other suspects? You mean apart from Trevor seeming even more on edge than usual? He's usually quite a nervous man, but he's become damn dangerous. Something's not right, if you ask me. I will look into that. Anything else to add? Jonas seems to be having a run of luck recently. He gave credit to several brothers, which is unlike him. I will see if all this leads to anything. Gracias, Bartram. Why is it that he can go and see his brother when he wants? I'd quite like to see my family too. I'm telling you, calm down and relax, else we'll be spotted. But I can't stay calm. We need to talk about it. You can't. I've told you. By the seven, trust me. Sorry, it's just... I feel so bad for that. We'll get through this. I'll see to it. But you've got to keep your big mouth shut. Understood? Yes, I'll... Sorry. Vale, esto se jode en algo. I'm too old for all of this. Never again will I look for trouble like that. I swear it. The gods bear witness. I won't try that again. What trouble? I really don't know how you're doing it, Jonas. Strangers come and go, and there you are with so much coin, even your shit is flecked with gold. How do you do it? Shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you. I've done nothing wrong. Stop drawing attention to me, will you? Relax, it's of no consequence to me anyway. I don't want to get involved. The last time someone stuck their nose into my affairs, I ended up swearing the oath of the Night's Watch. So you're not happy with what's come of that? All these good friends? Bueno, venga, va. Vamos a ver. Shut your mouth. So, Trebor, do you still like men? What? You piece of shit. Do you want to end up like that other one? I told you to keep your bloody mouth shut. That was too easy. Finish your story or face the consequences. It was an accident, all right? That'll be for me to decide. Continue. Domeric came to see us, just after our visitors turned up. His pockets were well lined. He tried to get us to join Sir Donnelly. He told us they needed some proper swordsmen. That treacherous bastard. I taught him a lesson. Trebor is hot-headed, but he's a good lad. He just wanted to show that disloyal shit where he could shove his offer. That bloody fool Domeric tried to defend himself, and things got out of hand. It all got nasty after that. Before we could explain the situation to Mormont, you came back from your mission, and there was total chaos. We thought it better to stay quiet and pretend it never happened. We hid his body in the snow, in the old outbuildings. I swear, we would have tried to tell you as soon as everything had calmed down. It's not my decision to make. I have to turn you into flowers. No, I don't want that again. Calm yourself, Trebor. Calm yourself. There's naught else we can do now. He was condemned to the wall for defending his sister against the knight. 
And now he will be condemned for defending the honor of our brotherhood? Please, Mors. Don't do it. He'll never get over this. I see. Well, I'll be blind to it this one time. Really? I swear by the gods, Mors. We're in your debt. You can ask anything of us. Anything at all. Did you see anything that might be of interest to me? Well, there might be something. Ever since that accident, I've kept my eyes open. And I did notice something strange. When everyone was gathered in the common hall, flowers posted guards at the doors. To keep you out? What's strange about that? The strange thing was that I saw one of the guards speaking with one of the suspects. All right, who was it? They had their hoods up, so I couldn't tell. I didn't think anything of it at the time. But when you came to question us, I remembered that it seemed a little suspicious. Sir, no name. Well, I knew it wouldn't be that simple. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help to you, Mors. It shan't be easy to follow such a portrayal. Don't trouble yourself with it. I'm used to such problems. If there are traitors amongst us, they Hemos will subido de nivel, eh? themselves gladly. But I have ways. Nivel 5. But then they are knights and you're Mors? There are some fat. Take your time. Mors? What do you want to speak about? You told me that the two inseparable friends. Yes. Along with Theomar, they were responsible for looking after our visitors when they were here. And you have already personally dealt with Theomar. Domeric did not flee. Trebor killed him, and as usual, Arthur felt obliged to protect him. How did that happen? He had been bribed by our guest to turn the heads of other brothers. But he picked the wrong target. Trebor beat him to death when he came to see them. With his pockets full of gold, and his mouth spouting treason. Idiots. They should have told us. Trevor is an idiot, but he's a good servant of the Night's Watch. Arthur just wanted to protect his friend. I see what you're getting at. I agree. I'll think about how to present this to the old bear. We'll find something that isn't conclusive. We'll whip them, of course. And then they'll be transferred to the Shadow Tower. That way, their skills won't go to waste. It might be enough to convince the Lord Commander. Any other news? Let's move on to the others. What do you want to speak about? Have you added Bartram to the list of suspects? Of course. What is he accused of? He accompanied Sir Godric Donnelly to the top of the wall to show him what it looks like on the other side. Who knows what was said up there? I'd rather keep him here. Just because he was your ward doesn't mean we should rule him out. I see. I'm only doing my job, Sir Mors. Any other questions? There are some facts that I need to check. I'll be back soon. Take your time. With this sort of business, it's best to be certain. Vale. But at what cost? You've really made a name for yourself recently, Butcher. No good comes from coming up against you. You've become quite wealthy in the past few days. I'd like to know where all that coin is coming from. My wages don't bring in all that much. Just something to pass the time, really. I don't believe every rumor you hear. Except the ones about the size of my... <laughs> of course. 
I thought you were too clever to be outwitted. Why did you accept the offer from that rat, Godric? I didn't accept anything, but I was happy to take gold from that group of halfwits. Do you deny receiving gold from Godric Donnelly? Oh no, I don't deny anything. I gladly relieve that arrogant bunch of knights of their coin. Dice, cards, small wages. I did very well. He didn't propose anything to you personally? Maybe for a favor? I make a deal now and again, but that's it. I'm definitely not getting involved in the affairs of lords. That never ends well. I know what you might think, Morse, but I promise you I'm telling the truth. I pocketed his coin, and that was it. You seem to tell the truth. Pat, I'll be watching you, Jonas. Thank you for believing me and for not ruining my little business, Moors. Here, let me give you this as a kindness. Win-win situation. Grants, old friend. How long have you been at the wall, old man? My boy, you'd be better off asking me if I've ever lived anywhere else. I actually came to ask you something else. I'd better knight in a whorehouse that you've come to talk about trees and moors. I've already spoken to Adam. He's a good lad. A shame he's so serious. What can a wrinkled old man do to help you, my boy? Tell me about our visitors. You spent some time with them, didn't you? I mingled a bit, yes. As I usually do when we have guests. It's rare to have fresh news nowadays. I don't let opportunities like that go by. And were you able to find anything out? Anything? Like what, for example? Like gold changing hands. Or one of our brothers accepting gold from Godric, for example. Gods be good. No. No, I, I, I don't think I saw anything like that. You don't think so? Or you don't know? No, I didn't see anything of the sort. Are you certain? I'm sorry, I can't help you any more than that, my boy. Uh, what happened? Some crows took tainted gold from our visitors and died as a result of it. You mean, there are corrupt brothers here? At Castle Black? They tried to attack me by surprise, but they failed. I need to know if there are others, and I need to know now. Are you sure you don't know anything that could be of use? Well, there are Arthur and, and, and Trebor. They've cut themselves off from the others, and they both seem really nervous. Interesting. Anyone else? I also saw Bartram speaking with Donnelly just before you left. They went off to talk in private. Mira, y decía Bartram que no había hablado con Donnelly. It might well be. Thank you, Grants. Now, go warm yourself up. Vale, pues Bartram es... Eh, ¡Es culpable! ¡Es culpable! ¡Que le corten la cabeza! ¡La fruta cabeza! What now? He didn't try. Are you certain? I told you. I didn't exchange a word with that minor southern lordling. Yet Grants saw you with him. I don't understand. Hold on. Maybe I do remember. Yes, we traded a few words when I took him to the top of the wall, but nothing of any importance. He asked me what life was like at the wall, if I was proud to be a member of the Night's Watch, that sort of thing. I see. You should have told me. We will see what to make of no this. Me fío, no me fío de Bartram. What now? Relax. There's no chance of me going. He managed to kill Gorn and got out alive. That's something. Vamos a ver. Let's return to this business of yours. What do you want to speak about? The King of Rats of Castle Black is on your list. I'm not surprised. Indeed. He's the obvious suspect. <sighs> Were you able to flush out that sly fox? Or are you keeping him here on a hunch? 
You'd be better asking me what I didn't find on him. No one has rotted so long in the dungeons of the Night's Watch since the 79 centuries. He was with Donnelly's men all the time they were here. He must have heard something. Or perhaps worse. I've still not been able to break him. But it won't be long now. However sly he is, he's stuck here with the others. Any other questions? Let's move on to the others. What do you want to speak about? The King of... Indeed. He's the obvious suspect. I'm going to leave Jonas in your capable hands. So he was bribed? I knew it. In fact, I think you had better let him go. Jonas is so caught up in his little schemes that he would have been a really bad spy. That makes sense. Alas, you're right. <laughs> it's a shame, though, as I'd have really tanned his hide. I'm going to tell my men to leave him be. Any other news? Let's move on to the others. What do you want to speak about? What could Grants have done to end up on your list? It seems Godric Donnelly really enjoyed his company. It's hard to imagine Donnelly taking the trouble to bribe an old man like Grants. <laughs> the old man knows a lot. He saw us all the... Who better to have pointed Godric to the brothers with the easiest head? Now you're not wrong, but that doesn't mean that it... He spent lots of time with Godric and his men when they visited. He claims he did nothing wrong, but I... Any other questions? Let's... What do you want to speak about? Have you added but... Of course. I think we can come to... And what do you have to say in defense of your lad? Better safe than sorry. It won't kill Bartram to spend a couple of nights in the dungeons of the Commander's Keep. Really? You're leaving him to me? So long as you don't lock him up in the dungeons of the Wall. We... Agreed. I'll give orders for him. Any other news? Vamos a investigar. Take your time. Vamos a investigar otra vez al viejo. Nothing in particular. I was born at the wall, in a manner of speaking, at least. One night, I was about. I know your life inside out. No, no me da ninguna opción. That's right. Go and tell them. Why should we give a damn what they think? Me falta uno, uno de ahí. Ah, vale, ese es el yo no sé ese. Vale, pues nada, vamos a ver al viejo que le... No sé si ponerlo como... Sin acento culpable. Mors? ¿Qué elegíais? Let's return. What do you want to speak about? What? It seems Godric Donnelly really enjoyed his company. We know enough about Grants to know what's going. So what do you suggest? I think you can let him go. He deserves to be left alone. I'm not going to trouble an old man. Your word is enough for me. As of now, he's as free as a bird. Thank you for your help. My thanks for taking care of that. It had to be done. I'm relieved we... Vale, bueno, misión cumplida. Esperemos, esperemos, esperemos que no... Still, he managed to kill Gorn and got out alive. That's something. But at what cost? He would have been better off. Shut it, he's here. I'm no worse than them, or you for that matter. That's right. Vale, vámonos para afuera. Y vamos a continuar con la misión. A ver cuánto llevamos. Hostia, llevamos ya media hora. Se me ha pasado la, la, la media hora. Con la, con la misión esta de investigar 
a los traidores Pues lo voy a dejar aquí, lo voy a dejar aquí Voy a guardar la partida En una que ya exista Guardar en el 10, vale, confirmamos Perfecto Y nada gente, una, un placer traeros esto Me ha molado lo de la investigación, aunque... Es un poco rara, eh, eh, me gustó más la de la de Alistair con la gente del, de, los, de la revuelta y tal Pero bueno, eh, os dejo esto, os dejo la pantalla esta final Que en el último vídeo se me olvidó ponerlo Porque ya sabéis que podéis suscribiros, que suscribís bien, ver la playlist completa Mis redes sociales las tenéis ahí Podéis comprar el juego baratito en G2A abajo en la descripción, tenéis el enlace Y, y apoyar el canal si os está molando con... A través de Patreon Y entrar a formar parte de los héroes de José Herra Con algunas recompensas y tal Así que nada gente, que un placer que nos vemos siempre Que vosotros queréis, por supuesto En el próximo vídeo, chao, chao